I'd like to show you how to do the osmosis and tonicity worksheet. Tonicity refers to is it isotonic, hypertonic, or hypotonic. So in each diagram below, a cell with a semi-permeable membrane has been placed in a beaker containing substances that are dissolved in water. The membrane is permeable to water and iodine. It is not permeable to glucose, sodium, or starch. So water and iodine can get through the cell membrane. Glucose, sodium, and starch cannot. Please remember that iodine, or Lugol's solution, is an indicator for starch. Therefore, it will turn from yellow-brown to blue-black in the presence of starch. If nobody says otherwise, you may assume for each problem that the remainder of the solution is water. So for beaker number one, we have 90% glucose in the beaker and 10% glucose in the cell. What's the percent of water inside the cell? And they said the rest is water if it didn't say anything else. So if we have 10% glucose, we must have 90% water in the cell. And the percent of water outside the cell, if it's 90% glucose, it must be 10% water. Will osmosis occur? Yes, there are different amounts of water inside and outside the cell. Therefore, the water will move either in or out until there are equal percentages of water inside and outside. In which direction will osmosis occur? Remember, osmosis has to be water diffusing through a membrane. So we only worry about the water when we talk about osmosis. Remember, the glucose cannot pass through the membrane, so it stays where it is. So remember, it will move from high concentrations to low concentrations. The water is moving, so we look at the water, not the glucose. The 90% water is higher than the 10%, so the water will move out of the cell. That's what you can write here, out of the cell. Will glucose diffuse? Well, can glucose pass through that membrane? No. So glucose cannot diffuse because it cannot spread out past the membrane or spread out into the membrane, which is what it's trying to do. The cell will shrink, swell, or remain the same size. Well, if water is going out of the cell, obviously the cell will shrink. How do you know? Water is moving outside the cell. And this diagram shows a cell in a hypo, hyper, or isotonic solution. When you t tell that, you don't look at the water. You look at the things that are dissolved. There's 90% glucose and 10% glucose. There's more glucose outside in the solution. So the cell is in a solution that is more concentrated with glucose. More is hyper. So this is hypertonic. Beaker number two, you will do the same sort of thing and figure it out the same way. For beaker number three, we have glucose, starch, and the rest of it is water. So 60 plus 10% gives us 70%. Subtract that from 100, and that will tell you how much water there is. The same here. Remember, glucose and starch cannot move through the membrane. Only water and iodine can move through the membrane. So when you put iodine in the beaker, the iodine will immediately be just in the solution at first, turning this the color it would turn if there's starch present. Then several hours later, the iodine would diffuse through the membrane into the cell. And it would turn the inside of the cell the color it would turn when there is starch. Finally, in the last beaker, the cell is permeable to everything, except it is impermeable to starch. So starch is the only thing that cannot pass through that semi-permeable membrane. Therefore, the sodium, the water, and the glucose can pass through. Now, there's only sodium outside the cell. 
so the sodium will spread out until there are equal amounts inside and outside. And the glucose is only inside the cell, so it will spread out until there are equal amounts inside and outside. The starch and the water are already the same inside and outside the cell. Now the starch cannot actually pass through the membrane, so all the starch molecules that are outside will remain outside. All the ones that are inside the cell will remain inside. But the water can pass through, even though the percentages are already the same. So when one water molecule passes out of the cell, another water molecule will pass into the cell, and they'll just trade places. Net movement means there is a change in the percentage. Remember, Benedict's reagent turns bright orange in the presence of glucose. And I think you'll be able to finish the rest of the worksheet on your own.